Mood 616 sucks his fucking dick. What a fucking over asshole, man. I better be wasting a fucking dickhead. Goddamn. Fuck him, man. Fuck, fuck. It looks. Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to another random review. I am your host Mood616 and thank you once again for stopping in guys. Alrighty, yeah, it is episode 11 today. And I've got another title here courtesy of Anchor Bay. Uh, this one is from 2015. Uh, this one is directed by John Geddes. He actually did a film that was released by Anchor Bay a few years ago called Scarce. Uh, very low budget type film. I enjoyed it. I don't think a lot of other people did. Um, and he also did Exit Humanity uh, a couple years back, um, which was pretty decent in itself. Uh, with that said, this movie right here is 100% completely different than those other two films. Uh, it's just not even on the same level at all. Um, this one was also written by Tony Burgess, who did Pontypool, which is a fantastic Canadian film. Uh, he also uh, wrote uh, Septic Man, which I loved. It was in my top 30 films of last year. Absolutely love that film. And without further ado, the film in question here is called Hellmouth. And of course, this is another uh, Canadian production uh, starring Stephen McHattie, of course, from uh, notable films like 300, uh, The Watchmen. Most recently, I watched him in a film called Wolves, which was another Canadian film. Um, he's, yeah, he's a great Canadian actor, so. Uh, but get into the uh, the plot of this one right here. Uh, basically, it centers around your main character Charlie, played by uh, uh, Stephen McCaddy. Uh, he is a gravekeeper, um, and basically the deal is with uh, Charlie is that he's terminally ill, and he's wanting to retire down to Florida because he only has like a couple years left in his life. Um, so he's getting ready to retire. His boss shows up at the cemetery one day, and basically tells him that he has to prolong his retirement due to the fact that he needs uh, his boss needs him to go to a different cemetery to work for the next six months because the uh, the gravekeeper has actually disappeared and they can't find him they need someone to fill in um, of course he's completely distraught pissed off and he's actually given absolutely no uh, no choice in the matter he has to take it or else he doesn't get his severance package or his retirement package so of course he uh, accepts Hops in his vehicle and starts driving to the cemetery through this beautiful, gothic, dark landscape. Uh, on his journey, he comes across this beautiful hitchhiker and uh, he picks her up. They instantly have this connection. They actually fall in love. Um, but what he doesn't know is the cemetery is actually the gateway to hell. So as they approach and drive into the cemetery, they find themselves in the in the bowels of, of hell, in the pit of hell. Um, he soon lo uh, soon <laughs> loses his uh, his love, and now he has to figure out a way to get her back. Um, so he he's at his job, he gets this map, and uh, from there on, he kind of has to figure out how to get her back and fight all the uh, you know the uh, obstacles and demons and, and and stuff that are in his way in the pit of hell. So that is your main story right there. Now my thoughts on this one, um, wow, fantastic film, really, really fantastic film. First of all, if you like films like Sin City, you'll definitely love this film. This movie looks identical to Sin City. It's shot like that, that very surreal type feel. Uh, it's shot in black and white, it's set in the 50s. So the first like half of the film is basically all black and white with that very Sin City surreal type uh, setting. Um, you know, kind of graphics, you know, kind of almost like, uh, you know, comic booky in a way. Um, which is really cool. It's very done like Sin City because it even has like certain things have colors like the taillights on vehicles and, um, you know, he's, he has this letter actually in the beginning of the film that, uh, you know, has color in it too. Very, very well done. Uh, once the film progresses, it actually turns into more color because what happens is, um, you know, they end up in the pit of hell and you know they're in a different type of world so there's a little more color and stuff like that so it kind of loses like that feel that it has in the beginning of the film but it's still visually very stunning and kind of you know has that very same type of atmosphere this film just oozes style and substance though it's just it's visually stunning it it just looks fantastic um, all the acting in this film is fantastic too Steve McCaddy does a great job he plays dual roles in this I won't give away the, the second role um, 
the girl, which I cannot pronounce her name, I think she does a great job too. She's very, very beautiful. Not a lot of characters in this one, but some pretty cool uh, scenes in this one with, you know, different stories from this police officer, which I will not get into. I don't want to spoil anything about this film. It's definitely one that you got to see for yourself to really kind of fully enjoy. Spoilers will not help you <laughs> on this one. Um, but yeah, overall, just a fantastic, visually stunning masterpiece. Well, not masterpiece, but, you know, it definitely has a little bit of, you know, flaws. In my opinion, I think the first two-thirds of the film are really strong. I think the ending could have been a little better. Um, but, you know, with that said, it didn't really ruin a lot for me. I was really satisfied by the end of the film. I had no problems with it. I thought it was just an overall really amazing film. And the thing is, I wasn't really expecting... Well, the thing is, I wasn't expecting... You know, really, I didn't know what to expect is probably a better way of putting it. Uh, when I popped this in, the first half an hour just had me stunned. It had me floored. Like I said, visually, I was just engulfed in the film. It was just fantastic. I've never really seen anything like this. It's very much like a fantasy horror film. Of course, when, once you see this, that'll make a lot more sense because, you know, you're in the pits of hell. You know, there's a lot of creatures and demons and things that are going on. And, uh, yeah, it just has this total fantasy type surreal gothic awesome atmosphere to this film you really cannot uh you know deny that fact but really great stuff you know i really don't want to say anything else about the movie give anything else away but i will say the soundtrack is fantastic i think the music fit perfectly in this one um it kind of has like a synthy type deal in certain parts really enjoyed that i thought it was awesome so um but yeah hellmouth here uh courtesy of anchor bay dvd blu-ray combo pack Unfortunately, this release doesn't have any special features at all, which was kind of disappointing because I really did want to see kind of like a making on the film and stuff because, you know, I mean, obviously it was done more computer generated because, you know, of the, the way it looks, you know, it has to be done like that, but awesome. No, you know, there is CGI in this, but it looks fantastic. It really doesn't take anything away from the film at all. So, but yeah, I was really looking forward to, you know, some special features on this. Unfortunately, there is none, so, eh, what can you do? But, uh, yeah, this one comes out May 19th, so in a couple days, depending on when I post this video. Um, so, yeah, definitely check this one out. If I had to rate this one, I'm going to give it a solid 9 out of 10. I really, really enjoyed this one. Probably one of the best films I've seen of 2015 so far. So, definitely give this one a shot when it comes out. Hopefully you won't be disappointed, or else this review is just completely bogus to you. <laughs> but, you know, those are just my thoughts. I really enjoyed it. Like, I love visual stunning films, and this one just, it captured me, man. It really, it really grabbed me and pulled me in, and, you know, I thought the story was pretty interesting, too. And, uh, yeah, it, it's not very often that you see a film, a fantasy horror film, with, like, kind of like a love story, and, you know, demons, and hell, and, and you know, just the bowels of hell, you know. I don't know, man. It was just really different to me, but... Hellmouth from 2015, definitely give it a shot. I really highly recommend it, and I hope you enjoyed it if, if you check it out. So, anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for episode 11 here, and yeah, I'll see you in episode 12 very, very soon. Peace out, homies.